Hey everyone, it's Sky Schooley here, a staff writer with business.com. And in this video today, I'll be going over a brief demo of the software Time Doctor. I'll be showing you a few of the features and settings that we found to be especially useful for tracking and managing employee productivity. Let's dive in. All right, so this is the Time Doctor free trial. And this is the main dashboard. You can view it in team view or user view, and then you can break it down based on day, seven days, 30 days, et cetera. And down here, you'll see an overview of certain workforce metrics. Now I don't have any employees added just yet, so there's nothing to show, but you can modify these widgets based on what's relevant to you. And if you scroll through, you'll see that it has a lot of useful information. For example, highest percentage time on productive and unproductive websites, tracked most and least hours, percentage of idle minutes, and top unproductive websites and applications. You'll see here that there is a big focus on productivity for employees, which is what I wanted to highlight today. So I'm gonna show you a few of the different settings and configurations that can help you do that or track productivity. For example, if we go to settings, and click on users, then you'll see your employees pop up here. Now I'm the only person right here. So this is all that we have to look out for today, but you can get a, a quick overview here. So you can configure when screenshots are taken, are the screenshots blurred? Can this user manually edit their time? Yes or no. Can they delete screenshots? When does the program time out? So that would go into your idle time. And can this information be shown in reports? Now you can also configure different group settings, but like I said, there's no other employees in the program right now for me. So that we won't be going over that today. However, let me go down to company settings and I will show you some of the configurations that you can modify here. So if we scroll down, you notice that you do have the option to display the platform in interactive or silent. So if you have employees using their own device, for example, you probably want to use interactive so that way you're not tracking their personal, their personal time th that they're using their device. When do you want to blur screenshots, timeout on call options, different permissions for managers. So maybe they can set productivity ratings. And if we scroll down to the bottom, this is what one thing that I wanted to call out. Now it does say it's in beta as of the time of this video recording, but we thought it was um, a useful feature. So I think everyone's come to the realization that employee well-being and productivity kind of go hand in hand, right? So being able to track work-life balance metrics is huge. So you can configure, you know, a certain um, number of hours per day or a time a day a threshold that you don't want employees to reach, or if they do reach that, it tracks it for you. So you don't want your employees to work too much because then they'll reach work burnout and then they'll be unproductive. So we thought that was a pretty cool feature. Next, I will show you email notifications. So I'll create a couple of these for you to show you how, how they work. Now, these are different notifications that you can create based on specific employee activity. So there's two different types, daily and real time. I'll create one of each for you so you can see the options. Now, if it's daily, you have a few different options here that you'll see. And we're gonna focus on productivity. So for this one, we're gonna track unproductive time per day. Now, when an employee's unproductivity reaches greater than we'll say 50%. And you can choose which days it tracks based on employee schedules. And then you can send it out to, or have it monitor everyone, specific groups or specific people. And the name for this one, we'll put unproductivity high risk. And then you click create and that's it. It's super easy to create email notifications. Again, here's one for real time. So you can view these options. The parameters are, you know, did they add manual time? So that was something in the settings that I had shown you before, or they didn't start working or they didn't start a shift. And then again, you can uh, designate who is being monitored and 
Oh, we've got to create a name for it, the notification. Boom, done. Super simple, guys. All right, so one last thing I did want to call out before I wrap up today is the reporting. So there's a lot of different types of reports that you can access, or you can do custom reporting. And I wanted to call this out specifically because you'll see there is all of this stuff focused on productivity and product time and idle minutes and things like that. So this can be a great way to keep, keep an eye on the type of um, activities your employees are engaging in, and then you can export various ways. Now, what is constituted as product productive or unproductive will depend on you. So this is something that you can set. Once your employees start using different applications and websites, you can go through and label them. So then the platform will automatically track them for you as productive or unproductive. And if we go back to the dashboard, that those same metrics will be um, here as well, based on what you have identified as productive or unproductive. So those are just a few of the many features that Time Doctor offers to help you track employee productivity.